Hey there, Chicka Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Today is Thursday. Um, what is the date? The 27th, I think. And um, I know I sound like crap and I probably shouldn't even be vlogging, but I am because I don't know, like yesterday it felt so good talking to y'all and I thought, oh, how cool. I'll put a video up Monday and I'll put a video up on Tuesday. So yeah, here we go. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and just chat just a little bit. Um, actually, I just picked up myself some Chinese food and I'm going to go back to the office and eat it because <sighs> I just might do that, y'all. That I, I want a Diet Dr. Pepper. Y'all know I'd be loving myself some Diet Dr. Peppers. And I had one yesterday, but I don't know. It didn't taste as good. Like some places they just taste better than other places so I think I am gonna drive over to Whataburger and get myself a Diet Dr. Pepper because I'm feeling it right now okay but yeah so what was I saying y'all know I just be all over the place y'all have to forgive me this girl have issues okay I'd be the first to tell y'all I am so full of issues it's not even funny gosh I look over here at this LV bag y'all and it just looks so pretty I just I, I wish I could hug Diane right now because she is like I, I just still I, I look at that bag in absolute amazement I'm just like absolute amazement what she told me this morning she woke up feeling like crappies which okay let me look to make sure ain't nobody coming okay 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 from any of the different directions okay is this okay I wanted to make sure this guy was actually pulling in these people with these trucks oh my god you guys like texas is i, don't, I guess because i live in texas so I, you know like gal forgive me i don't know what it's i'm can i'm sure other states have the same issues but these men in these texas trucks they just blow my mind like everybody has the like they have these trucks and they can't maneuver them because the trucks are so big or i don't know it's just kind of weird oh my god like that traffic like it's crazy over there and i want to diet dr Peppa. It might not be too bad. What did I just do? Oh. I'm just going to do it. Shoot. I never, I, you know, like I don't take lunches and I'm going to do it, y'all. So I'm going to go get myself a Diet Dr. Pepper. I don't care if I sit in the line because I can chat with y'all while I sit and wait. <clears throat> yeah. So, y'all, I, I did mention to y'all that I'm going to get my hair done. Okay, y'all, I've been totally binge watching. My, my hairstylist, I love her because she knows that I am so full of being extra. <laughs> Does that make sense? I am so full of being extra. Like, I get on my own nerve because I know I just have to, like, I don't know. I just get, I, I have to research things. And I then I get myself, like, right now, now I'm debating on a different type of hair to use. because I can't make up my mind. I'm like, I just want, I think this, this hair disappointed me so much that um, with the whole slipping thing. Hi, I'm Jordan. Baby. My name is Jordan. Yes, hi, can I have a medium Dr. Pep, uh, medium diet Dr. Pepper? Medium diet Dr. Pepper? Yes, ma'am. Medium? That's it. That's gonna be 215 to the whatever grab. Yes, I do. Go forward in the outside lane. Thank you. You have a medium diet, Dr. Pepper? Yes, I do. How are you doing today? Doing good. How are you? I am fantastic. Alright. How do you say your name? Sheila. Alright, so we're 215. You paying with the app? I'm gonna pay with my card. <clears throat> All right, I'll have your drink out too shortly. Perfect, thank you. Oh, this little girl that, I don't know if you guys can see her, that helped me, she is so beautiful. She helped me once before and she had commented on my locks. She probably don't remember me because you know, they see a thousand people a day and I, you know, I just remember her. But um, she's locking her hair and she's absolutely beautiful, young girl. Uh, 
I love I love complimenting women. Um, I love the positivity of telling a woman that she's beautiful or you know like something about her is beautiful. I just think it's so it's so worth it. You know what I mean? Like it makes everybody's day. Perfect. Pepper? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You yeah, I don't think she recognizes me today. She's in like a I think she's kind of rushing because it's like that 12 o'clock rush of people everywhere. All right. So I got myself a Diet Dr. Pepper. Let's see. I hope it's good. You know, the other day the lady was so sweet. She was so honest with me. I was I pulled in here to get myself breakfast. And y'all, I'm and I don't know. Well, y'all probably don't have water burgers where y'all live, do y'all? Unless y'all all my Texas viewers, all my SA viewers or whatever. But um I didn't know that they would like how easy it is. Like like she did it like without even like thinking like, oh my god, what does this woman want? I ordered the breakfast on a bun without the bun. And she was like, oh, no problem. Like I was all like prepared. Like I was like, I know I'm getting to ask something really strange and whoa. I'm telling y'all these people in these trucks, like Texas guys are the worst. Like, oh, they think they own the road. Like that guy, like he just drove in like a crazy man. Ugh, pissed me off, man. I don't like people driving like they're crazy. Okay, see, that made me lose what I was I was talking about. Ugh. <laughs> oh my gracious, y'all. Okay, I'm hot. I'm like having like all these fits here at one time. I'm like, I got my seat warmer on because this morning it was like chilled in the air. It's still chilled in the air. It feels really good. Let me taste this diet, Dr. Pepper. Mmm. And that's a good diet, Dr. Pepper. But now the morning, what I was seeing is so the morning when I got um, breakfast and I got like the breakfast on the bun without the bun, <laughs> the girl was telling me, like she's like, taste it, ma'am, first because the lady before me said it was flat and she was like, and I tasted it and I thought it kind of tasted funny, but I'm not a real big fan of diet, Dr. Pepper, so maybe it was just my taste. And like I was so appreciative that she said that to me and didn't let me buy it and get home you know like to the office and be like pissed off because the drink was flat so I ended up doing a Coke Zero because it did kind of taste a little bit funny it didn't have that that springy taste so yeah so I appreciate when people are honest like that like it it I don't know it just does something for me but anyway I probably should I'm at 19 now and I'm probably gonna cut out maybe like I don't know a couple minutes of this because I was piddling around in my purse and reading and doing whatever but um yeah so I don't want this vlog to be very long but I just felt like you know I just wanted to chat with you guys a little bit today like I don't know like it put me back into that whole like I love you guys and I love vlogging and I love you know just having that day-to-day -day contact so it's kind of like man man this thing's itching big time I need to put something on it oh it, how did he get down in my clothes pervert Mosquito is a pervert. Bite me in places that I don't let nobody go to. Well, maybe not nobody. Hmm. I'll let somebody go there. Y'all, let me stop. I be acting so crazy sometimes. Y'all, it's Thursday and I have nowhere to go, by the way. I'm not going out tonight. I'm gonna, I actually, I don't feel like it. And I know I, I even if I wanted to, I should not be going out tonight, but I'm kind of sad because I like I like having my Thursday night outings because it just makes me feel good. But I need to rest. I need to get rid of this crud. So I'm not doing anything tonight. I'm gonna be home editing videos because I edited the one yesterday. I edited the video yesterday that I did, and I tried to upload it, and I noticed that it didn't upload. So y'all know I'm still playing around with this Pomora. So anywho. We're going to have to check that out and see what's going on with that. Because I have no earthly idea what's going on with that. But I'll play with it. And try to... I guess maybe when I get home today, I'll show you guys my old TD. Um, I might do that. Yeah. Because I actually like what I have on today. I just don't like my back. I was just, This top has like a very low back. 
and my back is so scratched up. I have the same problem that my mother had. In my sleep, I scratch up my back. Like, if you saw me, y'all be thinking I had some mad sex, man. <laughs> y'all be like, man, she make the man scratch her back. <laughs> because my back is so scratched up. Like, it's like, I look at my back and I'm like, man, it looks like I have really had some serious stuff going on. You know, like the woman scratched the man's back. Like, but my stuff's so good, I make the man scratch my back. Ow! <laughs> Oh my gracious, y'all. Y'all make me talk bad. Like, stop it. Don't make me talk like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though, huh? Yeah, yeah. Don't act like you don't know. Just because we over 50 don't mean we don't know what we're doing, okay? Yeah. I know I know how to run the game. Oh my God, he's still here. Hey there Chica Pies, how we doing? How we feeling? So I've made it home and as I promised, I'm going to do a very quick little OOTD and then I'll have a couple things I want to show you all and then I'm going to end this vlog because I got to figure out why the vlog that I did yesterday, why it, it didn't upload correctly. But I think I know why. Y'all know I told y'all I'm trying to try out this femora crap so we shall see so anyway I'm gonna back up off the camera and I'm going to show you guys my OOTD so this is a top that I've had forever and a day and I wore it last year for the first time and not wearing it in probably I don't know three or four years <laughs> maybe even longer than that and then this morning I was wanting something that had sleeves in it because we had a little bit of a cold front and I was like, I know I get cold so easily. So I decided to put this on. Now it does have a very droopy uh, scoop neck back. And I was telling you all how my back is so scratched up. I inherited uh, from my mother the ability to scratch myself up at night. Like seriously, I do this all the time. I don't know how well you can see it, but I scratch myself up really bad in my sleep. My mother used to do the same thing. And I used to have a beautiful back. And as I got older, I just started doing that. And I just, you know, I'll, any given time I'll have like scars on my back and it'll look like I've been beat up or something or had some crazy sex or something. <laughs> and none of, the, none of them are uh, the above are true. So anyway, but yeah, so this is my cute little top. I love it so much. And I kind of like pull it off the shoulders most of the time when I'm not at work. Because it just, I don't know, I just kind of like it like this. But that's the way it looks if I pull it up on the shoulders. And if you'll notice, it's very narrow through here. So it does fall off on its own anyway. So most of the time, I just kind of slide it down like that. And then I have on my Hue Jeggings, which you guys know, um, these have gotten a little bit looser than the norm because of the few little pounds that I've lost. And, um, but I put these on the day. They will sag throughout the day, but I had a long enough top on so that you couldn't tell that. And of course, I'm wearing my belly band today. I wore it all day long today. I had not worn this in probably two weeks, maybe. And I want to get back to wearing it every day. Um, like typically from when I get home in the evening until the next morning. But I didn't think about it until this morning. I was like, I'm going to wear that sucker to work today. And I did. And it was, it was okay. Like I was totally fine with it on at work today. And then these are the booties I got. Um, when did I get these? Did I show these to you guys? I've had them for a while now, but I don't know if I've shown them to y'all because I bought like several things. Like I guess I was telling you guys in my haul for my, um, before I left my trip, I've been buying things like periodically and I just hadn't like showed them to y'all. So I don't know if I showed these to y'all or not. I think I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Super comfortable. Of course, you guys know I got them from TJ Maxx. Top, I have no idea where I got this from. This is really old. Like I said, several years old. And I don't know if it was a TG Ma TG Ma TG TJ Maxx. Y'all, I can't talk. Or if it was like some other random store. I really don't remember. But I do love this top a lot. I just love the flowiness of it. It looks really cute with leggings. Or in this case, jeggings. Yep, I love it so much. Now, don't y'all look at this hair because I noticed uh, right before I did the video and then I forgot because I was going to fix it. Um, it's falling down. <laughs> but y'all know me. Hey, I don't try to be doing anything extra for y'all. Y'all know it's just the way it is. It's the way it is. So, But I do have a couple things I want to share with you guys. Um, let me show you this. Okay, that got caught in my little... This little gadget right here, I got this 
from Amazon and it is a pen holder. Now, I just literally just opened it so I haven't experimented with it or anything, but um, when I did my what's in a bag video, I mentioned to you all about, I watched a young lady's video of what's in her handbag and she was saying that she kept her pens inside of a Ziploc bag and so that they would never explode in her purse. And then I got to thinking, you know, that's the worst nightmare was is to have a pen explode in a $1,500 handbag. So, of course, me being me, I decided I wanted to take it up a notch and I wanted to find something like a little pen case that I would love and be able to work with. And so, this is it. I, I found this, it's in my favorite color, which you guys know I love me some lime green and orange, my two favorite colors. But this one, the pens go on this side. There's a spot for you can put business cards, you can put receipts, there's a little spot right here. And this material that it's made out of, if the pen would explode, it would not get into the bag. Like this is water resistant. It's like everything will be confined into this one little area. It is from Japan. Um, it's called the Compact, Kit, uh, Compact Pen Case. And they had several colors. They had like red, black, this green, and I don't remember what other colors, but I'm really excited about putting my, you know, putting some stuff in here, like my pens and stuff. So who knows, maybe I'll do a video showing you guys how I decide to uh, fill it up and put everything in there and uh, what's in my pen case video. What the hey, you know, why not? And then, okay, so I have to share this little gadget with you all right here. I'm going to write a book. <laughs> I'm going to write a bestseller. So you guys know I have... Okay, let me hold this camera up and talk to y'all face to face for a moment. You guys know I have said to you all over and over and over about being in my happy place and things like that. And I haven't been sharing with you guys everything and I tell you guys I can't share. Well, I need to log this information down because I am placing myself in a place in my life where I'm refusing to be unhappy. I'm refusing to... You know, just let things slide. I'm, I'm just going for whatever I feel like I need to go for. And so I want to journal it. Now, this is a new journal that I bought. Um, I have a journal. I used to journal all the time. And I kind of like, I don't know, I got off the journaling habit. I don't know why. But um, I decided the other day, I was like, you know what? I'm going to journal in lieu of writing a book. Um, <laughs> a bestseller even, you know? So, um, I've got an interesting life, <laughs> but, um, I, I, I do want to do that. Like I'm going to set down every evening, um, if not every evening as often as I can, but I, I'm going to start from a, a particular point in my life. I'm going to give, I'm going to start the journal off with this, giving a quick rundown of my life and who I am and, and you know, where I came from and all this kind of stuff. And then I'm going to take it into more of a present time. And just talk about some things and um you know just my inner my inner feelings and you know different things i'm gonna of course journal what happens to me throughout the day or the week or whatever but yeah so i bought this i actually found this at at uh where did i find this at i got this at um ross the other day terry and i were out shopping and looking around and i saw these and i was like oh my god these are so beautiful and i also saw a calendar that i really wanted but it was messed up and so I, I want to go to another Ross to see if I can find it because that was a really good planner. And now that I have bills to pay, look, it, I eat my car payment. <laughs> I got car payment, cell phone. I have the paper to get my car washed every month. Like, oh, girl, got bills now. So I, I got to go back to you know, like I, I like, I'm very, very, very strict on where how I have my money managed, and so I set my accounts up to work out for me that way. If you guys ever want me to do a video about that, um, let me know because I am a financial wizard. <laughs> no, I'm not. But I'm very adamant about certain things when it comes to um, figuring out my bills and stuff like that. So it's taken me a little bit to just get back in the swing of things because I hadn't had a car payment in so long. So it really sucks every time that money comes out of my checking account. But, you know, it is what it is because I love my car. So, you know, I, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, so if you guys ever want me to do a video, just how to simplify or how to make it easy so that you don't spend money that you shouldn't spend and you always have money to pay your bills type of thing. Let me know and I'll do it because girl is real adamant about that. So anyway... Um, so that's why I need the calendar, but I didn't find, 
one that wasn't damaged and so I got to find one of those because I kind of liked it. I really liked the way it looked so <sighs> I liked what it offered on the inside is what fascinated me so much so I got to see if I can find one of those. But getting back to my journal. So it says, for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Y'all, that's, that's something right there. And I decided to go with one that had a spiritual, uh, I guess, being. Because um, you guys know I've shared with you all, like, the, the story of getting my vehicle and how that was a blessing. And I know that that was something that God had put in, in plan for me so many years ago. And I just didn't know it. Um, and so there's just a few things that's happening to me that I, I know that it's God's plan. And even though I screamed and yelled and, you know, I want this now, God, I want this now, God, I know that he has his own timing and it's not easy <laughs> waiting on him. <laughs> you know, it's not, um, but you have no choice. So you have to wait on him. And so I feel that the reason that I'm doing this journal is through a spiritual being that I'm finding out within myself. And so I wanted one that had a spiritual meaning to it. And if each page has like a little Bible verse on it, I don't know if that's going to focus or not. I can't tell if it's focusing, but um, yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to start this tonight and see how far I get. But yeah, so that is my plan. And who knows, maybe one day it will be a book. Who, I mean, you know, <laughs> and it might be a bestseller. I don't know. But um, I really and truly, I just need to do this because it's, I have a story and I know that my story is worth telling. Uh, not necessarily in book form, but it's, it's worth telling. You know, it's one of those things I can look back over. And um, if I'm ever able to share more, you know, it'll just be something that I can reference back to. So anyway got my journal really excited about it looked at a couple different colors that they had and i decided to go with this peachy color because the journal that i already had was a brown and they had a beautiful brown one but this one i like the verse that was on the front of it because of it that last little saying hope plans to give you hope and the future and you know that means a lot to me that's saying a lot to me you guys have no idea but this was very inexpensive it was only $5.99 and like I said I got it at my local Ross so I'm pretty excited about that and so that is it I managed to talk to you guys because I know I talked to y'all earlier today so this vlog is going to be a 30 minute or I believe or maybe a little bit less because I got to edit some stuff out and all that stuff but anywho girl needs to get off of here now I got myself a salad from Bill Miller this is my third salad for dinner this week. I was going to come home and have hot dogs again, but then I ended up stopping at Bill Miller. So it's going to be a salad. I'm feeling like a salad girl. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy my salad. And then I'm actually, I think I want to repaint my nails this evening. I don't know, but then I need to work on my video too. I need to figure out that one as to why it didn't upload. So Y'all, I'm experimenting with this stuff, y'all. I am. But anywho, love you guys so, so very much. All my new subscribers, once again, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad to have you on board. You are now officially Chicka Pies. And if you don't know what that means, you haven't watched enough of my videos yet. Because my vlogs are always, I'm calling y'all my Chicka Pies. Because you are my Chicka Pies. It's the words of a, an aunt of mine that passed away a few years ago. She called everybody Chicka Pies. And... When she passed away, I decided to honor her by carrying on that tradition. So you guys are my chicka pie. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And all of my returning subscribers, you guys know I love you. Keep on hanging in there with me. Life is beautiful. I'll see you guys in my very next vlog. Bye. Hey there, chicka pies. How we doing? How we feeling? TGIF. And I'm on my way home. I'm running a little bit later than my usual because I like to be out of the J-O-B by 3 o'clock, but it's now 3.30, but it's still not 5 o'clock, so that's all right. So I'm debating. I don't know if you guys remember me buying, I think it was last year. Was it last year that I bought this thing? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I bought the date calendar. My friend Diana uh, 
that I met, the one that lives here that I sold something to and we became friends, blase blase. She had turned me on to like the calendar thing that they have at, um, <clears throat> at um, Michael's and I bought it and I really didn't use it that much. Like I was very disappointed in myself because I didn't use it as much as I thought I was going to. And I think I just answered my own question. But anyway, so I mentioned to you guys that, I think I did, did I mention this to y'all? I don't remember. But anyway, if I didn't, I, I'm gonna tell you now, if I did, you just got to hear it again. Cause y'all know I'm getting old and I just can't remember everything like I used to. But um, she had turned me on to the calendar thing and I was like, oh, you know, I, I really, really like it. It was kind of cool. I thought it was a great idea. I got it. I never used it. Uh, probably once or twice. Um, of course, that was last year, so I need a new calendar for, like I didn't use it all this year, so the new year is getting ready to come in. So I kind of want to get a new calendar for the new year. Excuse me. Hmm. Now, mind you that I saw one at, um, yeah, forgive me. My breathing gets a little bit crazy because I'm still not totally well. And sometimes I'm like, I have to like, like catch my breath. But that's my whole respiratory stuff going on. But, um, so I, oh man, I need to get gas. Um, so <laughs> y'all bear with me. Um, but anyway, I'm like totally like, I'm, my mind is going a mile a minute. So to make a long story short, I was in my, uh, not Mar Marshalls. I was in Ross the other day and I saw a, um, a calendar that I really, really liked and I was just like wanting to get it. In the back of my mind, I was telling myself, girl, now you know you have that calendar that you could just buy the, the filler for and you spent money on it. So you should go ahead and utilize it. But I was like, oh, I should go ahead and get the one at, at Ross. Well, that one at Ross was torn, like the... It was a vinyl and the vinyl was torn. So I was kind of like, eh, I need to find one that's not. Now I was getting ready to go to a Ross and try to find one and, and buy it if I find it. But this, it makes sense to just use the one that I have and just go buy a filler for. So I'm getting ready to stop at HEB and I'm gonna get myself some gas because I have to top my car off. Um, I did really good on gas this week, by the way. But y'all, I'm at a half a tank and that's all I've used all week. It's been a half a tank of gas. So I am so proud. But yeah, so I was getting ready to ask y'all, should I go to Ross and look for one of those or should I refill the one that I have? I talked myself into doing the right thing. Like it makes no sense for me to buy, I mean the other calendar is like six bucks and I don't know how much the fillers are. But I spent money on the other calendar, so I need to just use the other calendar. So that's what I'm going to do, y'all. Going to turn into this HEB, get me some gasoline, and then I'm going to stop at Michael's on my way in because there's a Michael's right, well, not right by my house, but it's a Michael's on my way in. So I'm going to go in there and see if they have them. Um, hopefully, they still do. Like this late in the year, who knows? Like. Um, I know when I got the one that I got, I think I got it after the first of the year and I was almost like out of luck because, okay, okay. <laughs> Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Okay. Oh man. <sighs> well. I guess like all right chicken pies okay sometimes I wonder why I bother getting off early but then it's like well if I didn't get off early it would be super late getting home because I'm just now leaving for home okay you guys know I just told you guys about okay here comes another one y'all get ready hmm. that one didn't scream Okay, so y'all know I told you all about me wanting a planner or, or trying to figure out what I wanted to do as far as a calendar um, because now that I got bills to pay, girl got to get back organized like her used to be 
She's got her thing set up on auto debit and all that good stuff. And typically, I've you know, back in the day, I used to be really against auto debit. Um, not so much now. They, you know, they've gotten so much better with it now, and the consumer slash customer have a little bit more control than they used to from back in the day. So that is a good thing. Um, so I've got. I'm getting ready to set some more. Well, I haven't set my car up on auto debit just yet um, because. I was trying to get my accounts and stuff switched and put together the way I wanted them to. So um, that being said, I've got my account set up and so now I need to set my car up on auto debit. And um, yeah, so. Okay, so getting back to what I was saying. Um, I gotta set some things up, a couple more things of mine up on auto debit and then I'll be set. But I have to, like I like to keep track of them in my calendar. Um, so that's why I wanted to buy myself a new planner. So, okay, so I went to um, Michael's and I was pissed. I walked out of there like, not. So that little planner thing that I got, I want to say it was last year, but was it two years ago? Y'all, time goes by so fast. But anyway, they have the inserts for them for now, for this year. But they, I don't like any type of planner that I've got to write the month, write the date, the actual days in. First of all, I find that to be ludicrous. Maybe it's just me, but I mean, I'm just keeping it real because I mean, like, what would be the point? And then if you mess up, write a date down wrong, it, you could totally screw yourself over and have a mess. I don't know, I just, I, I don't get why someone would wanna do that. But you know, I know that planners are like the, the hot diggity dog diggity and everybody wants them and everybody like I was literally standing in line well not in line but I was standing there looking at the planners and I was listening to two ladies have a conversation and they were talking about you know that they were watching the release of it and this and that and I'm thinking oh my god they're talking about planners like I mean like is life that serious <laughs> I mean I don't know like forgive me y'all if y'all are a planner because I'm not I'm not I mean to each their own y'all know how I am you do you boo but I, I just for me personally I'm like what <laughs> like it's not that serious I'm saying this because I almost got caught up in that last or was it whatever year it was whenever I, I bought my planner because I really did I bought my planner I was gonna bling it out I was gonna put stickers on it and then I never did. And I'm like, I wasted that money because all the, the, the inserts for the new ones for the new year don't have the month or the date on them. So like, why? So I was like, not gonna do that. Just not. I saw no point. Um, and so, yeah, so I decided way against that. Like, didn't wanna do that. But I went to Target. I was gonna go to Hobby Lobby but I ended up not going to Hobby Lobby. My friend Terry called, she's nannying in next door to me, so she was like, you know, hey, can I wait for you to come home? Because she was off work, so I was like, okay. So then I had to skip going to Hobby Lobby, which is okay, but I, I, I wanna try to make it to Hobby Lobby before I use any of this stuff, because I wanna see what Hobby Lobby has to offer um, in lieu of a planner, because I'm not real certain that the one that I have is what I want, but I, I that's to be determined. But, okay, I have another <laughs> bone to pick with planners, okay? So, okay. why is it that planners, I mean, I, excuse me, back in the day, and I know I'm not crazy, because when I was like, poor, slash po, slash po po, <laughs> to the highest degree, you talking about somebody that had to use a planner. Like, I, I budgeted every single day down to the penny, and so, my planner was my like you know my die to die for and i remember planners being like you could get a planner like in july and then your planner would go to january or till december of the the next year like you would start you could you would start seeing planners in the stores for january of july in july for july through january or i mean i'm sorry december of the that next year so you would have like kind of like six months and then you'd have a whole year tell me why now the calendars are only for one year like it's july and stops in june 
and you're paying the same price. Well, I mean, obviously inflation over the years, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, man, like, so that means I have to remember, which I mean, obviously, I mean, when the calendar run out, you'll remember, but I'm like, why wouldn't they just, I don't know. I'm just being picky today. I think I'm in a bad mood. I'm not sure. <laughs> And then y'all, guess what? I was in the store. Okay, y'all help me out. Tell me if this was maybe, like I said, I think I'm in a bad mood. I'm not sure what's going on with me. I'm having some issues, right? So I think I'm in a bad mood, but I need you guys to help me out. Help me determine maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Okay, so I was in the, I went into Target afterwards because I wanted to see what Target had to offer. Now, mind you, you know, and I'm so proud of myself because that's all I looked at was calendars and things of that nature like trying to find certain things but so I'm on one aisle and I'm looking at these little notebook like things that I was thinking in terms of buying like this little calendar thing that they had for inserts however those two you had to like write the whole month and you know all that crap on and I'm like I'm not doing that but this lady was coming by and I saw her at the corner of my eye but I didn't turn to see like how much space she had and I was pretty close to the you know the the you know the the aisle like you know like I was pretty close to the area in front of me and I didn't realize that she didn't have enough room to go by um, now when that happens to me what I say to people is excuse me um, you know politely just say excuse me you know and even if they don't hear me I'll say it again excuse me you know in my politest voice with a smile on my face now I'm I, like I said, I see her, but I don't realize that maybe she can't get by. I'm thinking I'm close enough. There's enough space behind me. And technically, I still think there was, but we won't go there. And then she said to me, I'm going to, what did she say? I, I may not be quoting it exactly the same, but something in reference to, or, or she says, um, if you don't move up, I'm going to hit you. And I was like, excuse me <laughs> and I think when I turned around I may not have had the most pleasant look on my face and I think she kind of realized that like so then she tried to be like haha ah, she's like because I didn't want to bump your purse and and then you go oh my god who hit me or like she was trying to be funny at that point but you know the mood had already been set because I was like excuse me woman who you think you talking to <laughs> but I might be just in a bad mood I don't know like y'all would y'all get I mean like and and she said it in a voice not like not like that friendly voice like you know it was like she she changed her tone when I turned because I think when I turned I probably had like a serious look on my face because it caught me off guard like it I was like okay was she like like you know like it's like one of those things where you kind of go are you talking to me <laughs> like what <laughs> so I don't know y'all maybe it was like I said maybe it was just me I don't know I'm I just I just smiled because I thought I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna justify this lady with an answer because I can't right now. So we're setting at the light. Are we moving? We're not moving. So let me show y'all something real quick. I, I gotta show y'all this if I can get it out of the bag before Lord have mercy. Y'all, I got these at Target for three dollars each. My little fall pumpkins. This is a gray and white one. And then this is an all white one. And they're like little plastic ones or whatever, but they were three dollars each. I couldn't pass it up. I was like, oh my gracious. And I haven't decorated it all for fall. I started watching some fall decor videos and I was like, I want to decorate for fall, but I've been kind of like, I don't know, y'all, I'm in a mood. But <laughs> so I was like, I'm getting ready to do my room. I am going to do that. I decided the other day, and so these might go in my room if I, you know, well, they won't match my room. Well, I don't know. I may go back and get a black one because the black would match my room or the white. But anyway, let me show y'all. Like I said, I'll tell y'all that in a minute. I'm going to tell you I showed this. So I got this little notebook right here. It's just a little notebook. And I might be overthinking things and this all might come back to the store. But I got these little things. They're reusable, writable, like dividers. And then these are little slots. 
the whole things because I want to do this for my um, receipts for like Target, Marshalls, or whatever. Like I want to keep all my receipts. Like I want to organize my receipts better. I used to do that. Well, I did that back in the day, and then I kind of got out of the habit, and I started just putting them inside of a Manila folder, and then they would, and then I'd write on the Manila folder, you know, like Target, and they all would be inside of Target. Well, that can get out of hand. I realized that um, after a while, I got, and I don't know, it was just too much crap. But I was thinking like this folder would be something like I could put in my little thing back, you know, and, and keep it in my car or, you know, like, or not necessarily keep it in my car, but if I needed to take receipts, like if I was like, oh, I need that, you know, I need to look at my receipts or whatever, I can grab this and take this with me. Um, and, you know, just have like, you know, because like I said, I'm getting ready to do my room. I'm getting ready to have Christmas shopping going on. And I'm, I know receipts are going to be very crucial to me over the next few months. So I'm like, I'm kind of thinking I want to do that with that. I may be overthinking things and I may be making like, getting like the, the, the planner people, <laughs> being a receiver. <laughs> so I don't know. So I'm not gonna say, I'm, I'm saying that that's a thought that crossed my mind when I was at the store and I saw this and I was like, I might do this. So anyhow, just so y'all know, I'm, 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 I'm telling y'all I might be just acting a fool myself. So that's why I tell y'all, when I say stuff, y'all, y'all know I mean it in the, the best because I can turn around and do the same thing myself. So I might be doing the same thing. But then I'm in my subdivision now, so I can kind of show you this. This is the planner that I got. It's just a notebook type one. It's pretty big, which is fine because I kind of wanted a big one um, just to be able to write stuff. I write big, and so having a big one is okay. And if you notice, the, the color scheme matched. They were both had the golden white. So I kind of like that, that thought process of having them kind of, you know, match up with each other. Okay, I'm in my subdivision, so I'm doing a lot of turning. So anyway, but like I said, I might totally get home. I might even go back out tonight and hit Hobby Lobby just because I, I kind of want to. I want to see what Hobby Lobby has to offer before I lock myself in on this. And then I kind of also want to maybe like go to Ross in New Braunfels and look to see what they have at the Ross in New Braunfels. Not sure yet, but eh, thinking about it. So anyway, that is my finds. Now I did, you guys, oh my God, I, I made out like a bandit on these. I got three of these for eight bucks. Okay, y'all want to know how I did that? They had a dollar fifty off coupon on them. Okay, y'all, hold on to me. Hold on to y'all. They had a dollar fifty off coupon on them. I get the discount because I'm a member of Sally's, and they only had three. I bought all three that they had, so that made me get three of these for eight dollars, and one of them is four dollars. So it was like getting one for free, basically. So I stocked up on my hair dye. So I'm good to go in that department. So anyhow, that's my that's my crap for today. <laughs> so Terry is here somewhere. I don't know if she's in her car waiting on me or if she was went on in my house, which I hope she did. I hope she's not sitting out here in the car anywhere, but I don't know. I have to look and see. But anyway, I'll chat with you guys a little bit later. Maybe some tonight. I don't know. I've talked a lot like today and just, you know, chatting and driving. So good morning, Chica Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, September the 29th and I am sipping on some coffee in my new elephant mug that Terry found for me at um, Marshall's. Back before I went on my trip, um, she pointed it out to me and I was like, I think I need that in my life. So this is going to be the next mug that's going to be featured in my next PJs and coffee time, which will be not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Actually, when you guys see this vlog, it'll be Sunday. The one that will post Sunday because of the way I'm doing my vlogs now. It's so good. I am actually drinking not coffee out of my Keurig. I'm drinking a coffee that was made in a little coffee pot. I was just finishing it off because I was like, I think I just want to top that off and before I, and then if I want another cup of coffee, I will, because I do need to record another PJs and Coffee Time video, the one that I'm just talking about. But I need to, I'm gonna do some cleaning to the house first. Um, my house looks like a living nightmare, a pigsty, whatever. Um, 
Okay, look. Disclaimer, y'all. This is what I look like on a Saturday morning. I got bobby pins poking out of my head. I got on my little onesie there today. Got my little band thing on my belly. I'm feeling kind of ugh today. But I've got a lot of cleaning to do. My house looks horrible. And because I haven't felt well. And honest, to be honest with you all. I kind of put my house on the back burner. I've kind of not wanted to do anything to it. I've kind of been in a funk about the house. Um, I get this way because I feel like a lot of times when I clean, it's done in vain. And I get so frustrated that I just shut down. And I, I, I don't know how to change that about me. Because I can't stand it if I clean the table off and everything's perfect on the table. And then five minutes after someone gets home, it looks like a tornado ran, ran through the house. Like, you know, like the table is all at a desiree and things are setting everywhere. And then I get to the point where I'm just like, well, why am I bothering? And then I set my stuff everywhere. It's just a, a vicious cycle. And I'm back in that cycle again. So I'm trying to, <laughs> y'all help a sister out. I'm trying so hard, y'all. It's just not easy. So anyway, I'm going to clean today. I'm going to clean the den, the kitchen, and hopefully my closet. Um, my closet looks kind of messy uh, from the whole trying to figure out what I was going to take and all that stuff. So I need to clean that up. And I still need to order my little jewelry thing. So my, I have my jewelry literally. Um, my phone was going off. Uh, setting on my dresser. And it's just, I, I've got to, I've been doing that because I've been getting dressed in that, in my closet versus in my little room in there. Because, you know, when I started all this whole redoing the house my little room in there became like a storage area so um that's not going to happen this weekend i'm not cleaning that out this weekend but um within the next few weekends i am going to get that room clean because i want to go back in there i want to spend some i i'm feeling that need to spend some very quality time alone in that room and um yeah it's about to happen i got the mindset now y'all i got the decor kind of somewhat figured out in my head from a video that I watched and so I'm, I'm ready to go like um, but I just need to get this part of the house in some kind of order before I can even attempt to go in there and I just hope that this part of the house stay that way um, yeah we'll see I don't know so anyway I am actually currently so to show you guys I'm actually current I'm actually current so to show you guys I am actually at the present moment, editing on Filmora. I'm editing my PJs and Coffee Time video, which like I said, when you see this vlog, it'll be next Friday, so it'll be airing on Sunday morning. Y'all, I'm getting better. Um, I gotta find out where the screen size at because I think I need to change my screen size. But I don't know where that part's at. So, uh, I think I saw it somewhere. Let's see. Edit. Edit. Nah, nah, nah. That's not it. I can't edit from that point. I guess not. Why not? In a very chilled, relaxed position here. I'm actually sitting on the patio. Huh. Okay. Why can't I edit? I saw... I saw the screen situation somewhere. I don't know where I saw it. How we doing? How we feeling? I am at Urban Brick Pizza and I met a young man that said he wanted to say hi on YouTube. So wow, we're going to say hi to him today. Damn. What's your name? Avery. Avery. His name is Avery. 
There he is over there, nice looking young man. He's Thank been so working much. here for a short while. How long? Only like three weeks. About three yeah. weeks. So you guys join me in saying this hi to good. Avery and welcome him to the Sugar Pie team because he's going to become a follower. Team, I love it. <laughs> Isn't he precious? <laughs> Hey there, Chica Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? It is Sunday evening. Yes, I sucked at vlogging this weekend. I really didn't do a lot, so it wasn't a lot for me to vlog about yesterday. I vlogged showing you guys me editing my video that went up for this morning, my PJs and coffee time. And then I started cleaning the house. And I mean, at no point did I ever feel like I wanted to stop and talk. I'm sorry, it was just one of those days. And so I continued to do that and then I got up today and uh, recorded a new PJs and Coffee Time video, which, let me show you guys my new little setup. I don't know, hopefully you can see that. All my mess in its glory right now, but I am gonna move that before I go to bed tonight. But this is my new little setup and I really like it. So I recorded a new PJs and Coffee Time video this morning and I've recorded my video that's gonna go up on Wednesday. I've already edited. There's a surprise video going up for you on Monday. However, like I said, by the time you guys see this vlog on Friday, all of those things will already be in action except for the Sunday's PJs and Coffee Time video. But I have been busy today. Busy doing me. Yes, I love it. So it's been awesome. I just came in from the movies. Went to go see, what was the name of the movie? Okay, okay, y'all know I'm bad. I don't remember the name of the movie. It was pretty good though. It was the one where the girl was a vlogger and she did a murder mystery all at the same time. So yeah, simple I favor. simple a simple favor. A simple favor is the name of the movie. Y'all look at that hair. It's just the growing. That one's really growing right there. Look at that. <laughs> I think that's the one I fixed today. So I need to no, that's a different one. I don't know why that one's so long. Let me see. I'm telling y'all this hair grows it's growing from my scalp yeah that one's like it's amazing it's really weird this hair just literally stretches out every couple of days it gets longer and longer and longer so I mean I'm already really needing to cut it but I'm gonna be taking this out of my head here pretty soon because I'm kind of over this one this hair was just it stretches too much I don't know I've never had hair to do this before but yeah okay so let me go ahead and show you my OOTD because I'm actually really, really loving it. I really think this is a cool outfit. Y'all know me. I live risky every now and then and I do some strange things when it comes to the name of clothing. But that's just my personality and I can't help myself. Okay, I'm going to set the camera down and show you guys my get up. All right, y'all. Okay, so check it out. I've got on my overalls. I haven't worn these in a while. And I think I got these. Yes, I had to think for a minute, but I don't know why I had to think for a minute because it goes without saying. I got these from TJ Maxx. La, the beginning of summer-ish maybe, or like when it was still cool outside, somewhere in there. But I've had them for a while. I've only worn them like maybe a couple of times. But yeah, so I put those on today and these do fit a lot more blousier than the last pair that I had with you guys know. I didn't really like those because I felt like they just fit weird and they were too long uh, as far as the, the shoulders. Even though these are pretty long too, they still kind of fall off. But I do like these because these have more of a baggier appearance and I don't know if you can tell, but these come like above the ankle and they're a little bit loose all the way down so they're more like a straight leg. And I don't know, I just kind of like them and I ended up throwing these on, oops. <laughs> I ended up putting on my coat shoes with these, which y'all, I really do like these shoes. My little loafers, they're just comfortable. And I don't know, I thought, so I think the shoes gave the outfit a little bit more of a polished look, so to speak. I don't know. Y'all know me. Like I said, I'm just different. And then I have got my cold shoulders on. And this, this is one of those tops that actually cut off at the belly button area, somewhere in there. And when I got it, I was like, why am I buying this top? A girl don't show stomach okay it's not it's, she ain't got it like that but I liked it and it was like on clearance I can't remember like I paid like a very little for it I think if I remember correctly but I've had it for a while and my thought was to wear it with my overalls and so I was waiting for the weather to cool off just a little bit because this is a more of a sweatshirt material but of course it can't be too cold because these cold shoulders go way down like look at that like see how far down they go so I I definitely had to have 
this on when it was not too cold but not too hot either so anyway i just actually like this whole little getup. i think it's really cute and i definitely want to wear it again because i really didn't do anything today other than record videos and go to the movies so this is definitely going to be another outfit that i am going to throw on when i'm going somewhere exciting so i can you know show myself and y'all before we get too far let me tell y'all what i did so i recorded my whole video today the one on the review and i didn't put any lipstick on the very end, I was like, I didn't put any lipstick on, but I was like, screw it. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to redo the video just for the sake of the fact that I'm not going to redo the video for the sake of the fact I didn't have on lipstick. It's just not going to happen. So I've gone the whole day without wearing lipstick. Don't know why, but I have. But yeah, so anyway, I want to show you guys something. I'll be right back. So I wanted to share with you all the nail polish that I'm wearing this week. And I'm actually wearing it for the second week in a row. But today I actually painted my toes as well. My toes have been painted a different color that was almost this color. But more like a little bit deeper to where it almost looked black. And this polish is kind of like a cross between a burgundy. It's like a brown burgundy. I don't know if that's a good view of it right there. But I absolutely love this color. And it's so the color is called Kamosiyama and it is such a pretty color. It is by um, OPI and it's one of the the ones that have the it's the more expensive one. I don't know the one that has the, poly, the clear polish that goes with it. Y'all know what I'm talking about but anyway like I said I loved it so much I painted my nails again so I thought that was pretty interesting on my part because I never do that so that must mean I really really like it. It kind of reminds me of an old school texting a friend there in fact she's got a hot day coming up and she has to keep me informed because she's internet dating so we have to I have to keep track of everything so she always keeps me informed but yeah so anyway I'm going to set this camera down and I want to show you guys something that I purchased this weekend okay first let me explain at the beginning of this vlog on Friday I talked about the whole trying to find a, a new calendar book a new planner and how I decided that I was going to use the planner that I already had and just by the insert. Okay, well that started a big mess on Friday for me. Personally, I drove to, no, Michael's, I had to think, because I went to several places. I went to Michael's first, which is where I originally got my first planner from and thought, oh, I'll just buy an insert. It can't be that much more expensive. They always have the coupon for 40% off or maybe 50% off, I can't remember. Uh, get in there and all of their calendar inserts are the ones that you have to literally have to fill in the month and fill in the dates I don't like those. I don't see the point of those I think they're pointless which I think I mentioned that when I purchased the planner that I purchased from Target which that one's going back because Y'all I went to Ross on Friday night Terry and I hung out and yes I forgot and left the camera here at home So it kind of sucked because I didn't get any of that coverage any of that footage but I want to show you guys this planner and tell you a little bit about it so this is the planner that I got it I ended up getting it this is the happy what is it the happy the happy planner is what it's called and this is a full size one I mean this is like a notebook size and so I don't know if you can tell but it is all blinked out in my own little stuff and I know I said, you know, like I really got into that and then I really didn't do anything with it. But the good thing about this planner is I did not spend any money on this planner other than buying the planner itself. Because everything from my existing planner would fit into this planner. Even though this planner is a bigger planner as far as size wise, but the rings are all the same like that. So anyway, I replaced... I end up adding pockets in here, which if you all want me to do a video on how I put together my planner, let me know because I know that that's like a big thing on YouTube, but I'm not like that kind of a person in it. Like I'm not going to have a million stickers and all that. I actually made, well, there. It, uh, I'll tell you that in a minute. I'll show you a different thing that I got. But I may use a few stickers because I did see on Amazon that they had like some stickers for like three bucks or something. So I might buy that package of the stickers just to kind of be cute and see how it is. Because I know, yes, I know I'm eating my own words. But if I do that, I'm eating my own words. But other than that, for me, this is just a basic planner that I used 
um, I wanted to be able to insert like the little, well, I wanted to have the pockets, but I didn't want to buy any more because when I saw that these fit, I was like, perfect. So I have my little pockets that I'll use for whatever and whatever and whatever, which like I said, if you guys want me to do a video about it, I certainly will. But I have all my dates and the best thing about this calendar is look at that. It's an 18 month calendar. So it started in June or July. Let's see. It started in July. And I did take out July through uh, August, and I just have September through next year, December. So yeah, so I really like this planner slash calendar. I think that it's perfect for what I wanted it for. It's got lots of space on the inside, and I didn't spend anything but a whopping $11.99. I got this at Ross. I could not believe it. I actually walked in there, and I was like looking for something else that I'd seen in another Ross. And I saw this sitting there and I was like, what? Hmm. And I picked it up and I was like, oh my God, it's a planner. And it's like full size and it's like 18 months that I got really excited. So yeah, so I'm excited about using this. I kind of started putting in my information. Now the only thing is, is I don't know if you can tell, but because I packed this so much, these ringlets are actually a little bit small. So I am contemplating on taking the ringlets off of this one and putting it onto this one. That's gonna be a chore because I didn't decide that until after I had put all the stuff into this other one and I'm kinda like, oh my God, that's gonna be work. But I actually think I might do that because I think that, um, yeah, I think it would just be better because when I open this up, it's a little, it takes a little bit, like it's a little bit work to get it open. But I even moved the note paper as well as the, um, what do you call these, these pages? Oh, I can't think of what they're called, but you know, the ones that have the squares all over them, what are they called? I don't remember. But anyway, yeah. So anyway, if you guys want me to talk a little bit more about this planner, feel free to comment below and I'll dedicate an entire video to it because I'm excited about it. But again, like I said, I'm not the whole blinged out to the point of having a million things going on in my planner at one time, but this is serving my purpose of keeping up with my bills and things like that. So, and some other things that I plan to do with this planner. So that's the skinny on that. And like I said, this is my old planner that I actually was going to just buy an insert for, but yeah, so that didn't happen. But yeah, see how, how these ringlets are? I really think I should get this, transfer the ringlets to this one. However, one of my ringlets is broken, but I think I had some extra ones. I just don't know if I have, because this one I think has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This one has, we won't count the broken one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I would have to have three more ringlets in order to make this work, or I may have to buy another set of, I call these ringlets, I don't know what the, what's the real name for them, I have no idea. But then I wanna show you this planner that I had actually purchased at TJ Maxx. Wow, that one's shining. And it's really, really cute, and it was on clearance. And so before I had seen this one, I saw this one and I grabbed it. I'm just, I just love the color of it. I think it's really pretty, but I'm like, I don't need two planners, so I mean, the logical thing would be this to take this one back, but I love it so much. So I, I don't know, I'm kind of like undecided right now. But so it's basically the same thing. It has all the dates and everything. The only different, oh no, wait, this one is an 18 month also. That's right, because everyone that I found, okay, this one's a 17 month planner. This one started in August versus, oh, I you know, I didn't pay any attention to that. This one is a 17 month planner. It started in August and go through December of 2019. So anyway, and this has the little, the little rope thing to close it up. But what I really found interesting about this one, now this one did only have one pocket, so that was kind of a turn off because with only having one pocket, I'm like, I want more pockets because of what I want to use the pockets for. And obviously you can see that this ringlet, you're not going to be able to uh, add things to it or anything like that. But I did like this little aspect of it. There is a page of stickers. Isn't that fantastic? So anyway, I don't know. Um, I don't really have a need to hold on to this. Now the only thing is, is that my receipt on this says that I only pay $10 for it. And if you look at the at my book on the back, it says the clearance price was $11. Terry picked up one, the same one, but hers was a different color. So they gave it to me at the $10 price because hers had $10 on it. So I don't know if when I go to take it back, if that's gonna be a problem. 
you know, because they technically, the SKU won't match. It'll be off by one digit. So not sure about that, but I'll figure that out. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog at this point. It has been fantastic. I have had a beautiful weekend. Even cleaning was nice. I felt good because I, I was seeing some progress being made. Although when you see my little mess over there, it looks like I didn't do much, but it actually is clean. I just have to pick up my stuff and why it's already going to be 11 o'clock y'all gosh my whole evening went by so fast from going to the movies but it's okay i'm all good i'm going to be going to bed here very shortly so thank you for hanging out with me this weekend i'm so sorry this wasn't a very fun vlog but it's my real life and unfortunately my real life was boring this weekend well i guess boring for a vlog but it's not boring for me so anywho yep that lamp is still over there without a shade without a bulb because I haven't like I kind of want to try to fix it that little gap that's right here I just feel like I can get it closed in at some point and I don't know if you guys can see that and then find if I do that I'll find a shade and put a shade on it but if not then I don't know I just need to decide because I would paint this bad boy is what I would do so yeah so anyway <laughs> See, y'all know I just get all sidetracked off of the different, most different things all the time because that's my personality. And now I've talked this battery down. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to see you guys in my very next vlog. Don't talk to me anymore. I have nothing else to say until I vlog again. Bye.